Yo, what is going on guys? So in today's video, we are going to be using the new Black Ops Cold War M4A1 in Modern Warfare. If you guys pre-order Black Ops Cold War, you get this really nice new M4A1 blueprint. I'll be talking a little bit more about this reveal event we had and some of the other upcoming information we will be having about Black Ops Cold War. And I'll just be showcasing this new M4A1. The gameplay I have for you guys is absolutely ridiculous. I got an incredibly high kill game. One of my highest I've actually gotten in season five. So if you guys are interested in some crazy gameplay, a lot of feeds, I highly recommend watching that. Also, if you stick around to the very end of today's video, I will be showcasing the class that I was using, go in depth of why I chose you to tap into all that type of good stuff. If any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys subscribe. I do upload every single day to the channel. This is actually the second video I have uploaded today. Boy, it was not that grind. We're about to hit 300,000 subscribers. A lot of good stuff happening. There's a lot of you guys out there who watch the videos who have not yet subscribed either. So, bruh, come on, guys. What, what are you doing? Hit it. You guys are here. You clicked on it. Subscribe, join us, drop a big fat like on today's video as well. If you guys are excited for Black Ops Cold War, I know I am. I cannot wait to play a new Call of Duty. Also, make sure you guys follow my Twitch as well, where I live stream almost every single day. I've been a little I've been lacking just a little bit, but don't worry. I'm gonna be a lot more active starting tonight. So tune in, that'd be great. Anyways, without further ado, here is the new M4A1 for pre-ordering Black Ops Cold War. Oh, dang, I just spawned in. What is this? What's going on here? Guys, I have the new Black Ops Cold War Ooh. gun in Modern Warfare today. Guys, the reveal event was dummy lit, and if you missed it, I apologize. I did upload my... Uh, my perspective so you guys were able oh no man we were popping off a little bit there i did upload my perspective so you guys could just get a taste of what was going on man was that the coolest thing ever the coolest thing ever oh my goodness holy cow let's be careful now jeez i'll take it no guys i want to go crazy with this new blueprint for those of you who are trying to unlock this yourselves you need to uh, Pre-order Cold War. Yeah, it, it's like a like a basically a sixty dollar blueprint if you think about it. Because you need a the only way you can get it is by pre-ordering the next Call of Duty, which you should. I mean, especially for those of you who are going to be playing it right when it comes out, or you already plan on getting it. You might as well copy. You get this blueprint. It looks like it has obsidian on it. It's pretty nice. I like it. The iron sight's not my favorite, but hey, it is what it is. The rest of it looks pretty dope. Oh, nice. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go. This is what you like to see. Yeah, if you guys missed my video from earlier today, I definitely recommend checking out and then you guys could get a get a taste of the, the trailer, see what your boy was doing. We're already on our second video today, so hey man. Drop a like for, for the double upload. If we can get fifteen hundred likes, I'd really appreciate that. That'd be great. That's kind of a big like goal, but I think you guys are able to, to get that. That's easy. Something slight, right? Nice. But yeah, let me know in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think of, of Black Ops Cold War. Are you excited? What do you? What's one thing you want to see in the game? One thing. Name one thing you absolutely want to see in Cold War. Me, personally, I would like to see like an advanced wave like we have in this game. Hopefully it laps, laps, or not laps, lasts longer. Goodness gracious, I can't even speak English today. I feel like in this game it doesn't last as, oh, holy cow. Advance UV up. All right, GG. Throw that over. Nice. Guys, I'm sorry I'm playing, I'm sorry I'm playing shipment again. I know you guys are probably so annoyed of it, but Come on, man. You can't blame me. Holy cow. We are snapping right now. GG. Yo, what is this spawns? We got our nuke, baby. Let's go. Holy cow. That's what I like to see. Goodness. By the way, man, I was laying in, I was laying in bed yesterday, and I realized you guys have been like, I really do apologize for not bringing you guys an S and D video. I just been completely neglecting it. Again, I haven't been playing too much. If you guys watched my video a few days ago, um, I was mentioning how I wasn't having too much fun playing the game, and I know I need to change it up, and I'm just not doing it. So, I think I'm gonna take this week, this weekend, and and, and get you guys those videos we've been asking for. You guys have been killing it. 
with support on the channel, I mean, you 100% deserve to, to, for those videos uh, to come out, man. So don't worry, man. I'm going to work on that. The search video, search and destroy, and then some sniping. I was actually sniping on stream. If you guys follow the Twitch, you guys saw me sniping a little bit. Ah, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. It definitely was not good at all. But um, I did have a lot of fun doing it. It's something I really should do a lot more often. It's just like if I'm not in the mood to snipe, I do so bad. But when I'm really in the mood to like quick scope and snipe, it, I somehow I, your boy just starts popping off all of a sudden. It's it's crazy, but that'll definitely be coming pretty soon. Let's see, nice. We also have the multiplayer reveal for. I'm, I don't know how, how did I forget this. The multiplayer reveal for Cold War is actually on September 9th, which is in, I'd say, two weeks, roughly, so. Be ready for that. Alright, these guys need to cap a flag, and I'm the reason why they're not capturing one. Oh, shoot. Alright, you would be up. I'd be like, they need to cap a flag, and then I just completely slay. Like, what am I doing? There's four people, too. Oh my god, that guy almost got me. Dude, quick fix is so needed. If you guys if you guys don't run quick fix, you're doing something wrong. No! We are going crazy! Come on! It's all good. Alright, pushing through. Thank you, teammate. I would have never been able to get him. Alright. No one else? Okay, cool. Guys, we're about to drop our 100 kills already. This is what I like to see. Throw that over. I'll wait right here. I don't even care. I really like this M4. This stuff's really clean. It looks it looks basic, but... Nice. I really, really like the... Uh, this, like, the really dark black camo. It reminds me of just kind of their... Back in black type thing, or, or the blackout. Oh my god, oh my god. I need to relax. Alright, calling the support helo. Throw that over. Nothing. Nothing, alright. Well then, alright, we got our advance, that's great. Oh my god. Can we get another nuke with this? With our core? Oh man. We got our Black Ops Cold War weapon. I'm telling you, we are popping off this game. I don't even care. GG. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Man. By no means am I a good player at all. I'd say I'm definitely just average, at, if anything. But I gotta say, we are... This is definitely one of my better games I've had. This week, so... Nice. There's only three people in the game. There's, dude, I listen. I love shoot the ship, but this this five v five stuff is a no go for me. I personally do not mess with five v five. This should be six v six in my opinion. That stuff bothers me so much. Uh, oh my god, that guy absolutely destroyed me. I got obliterated. It's oh, it was the fin as well. Goodness, that was a fin. I haven't used a. I haven't used the grenade barrel in such a long time. And good. Oh my god, my teammate has a chopper gunner now. I love this barrel a lot, actually. Oh shoot. GG. All right, we're looking good. Two people left now. Come on, man. We have 100 kills. I'm loving this. This is great. I love the. Hey, you guys can hold those flags. I really don't mind. Hold those flags all you want. I'm not worried. Oh, let's go. Nice little triple. That that spawn point was awful, I'm not gonna lie. Are they over there? That guy had a rocket launcher out and ready to go for me. Dang. Alright. These guys are in the corner over here, aren't they? Dude, these spawns are so bad. It's not even funny. It really isn't. I'm gonna go push over here. Nice. I apologize for playing so much shoot, ship in the shoot house, man. I really do. I just want to get this video real quick. And I'm being honest, but the easiest gameplays I get are on shoot house and shipment. They're fast paced, enjoyable. So I hope you guys understand my reasoning on why I play it so much. It's honestly ridiculous. Hey, listen. 
Only the Loyals are watching this far. I'm gonna be honest. It, it's just kind of facts. Like, only the Loyals are watching this far. Listen. If this video could reach 3,000 likes, I'm gonna give away um, a copy of Black Ops Cold War. You guys are always showing me love and support, and you guys deserve it. Alright? So let me know what console you guys will, are planning on playing on for the next gen. Or for the next COD, sorry. If you guys are just playing next gen consoles or not, drop a like on today's video. And that's it. Alright? Also, can you guys just please make sure you're subscribed at least? I mean, it's not, it's not mandatory. Subscribe if you guys are come, come watch your content, but... Hey, man, if you're going to participate in the giveaway, at least subscribe. I mean, it's the least y'all can do, right? That'd be great. Anyways, let's just continue to pop off. Let's finish this game off right. Um, we have 128 kills with this M4. We are actually kind of slaying out. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting another blueprint, actually, for the um, the September 9th multiplayer reveal. So, uh, again, if you guys, if you guys have pre-ordered, you're going to have this. And you also will probably have one for the multiplayer reveal as well. So, don't be surprised when you see a new blueprint on September 9th in your inventory. Alright. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Deletios. Dude, my teammate has another... Oh, that's my streak. I thought my teammate had another chopper gunner. I was about to flip out. Nice. Bro, these spawns are nutty. What in the world am I playing? Yo! Line them up, boys. Holy. These poor guys, man. Getting absolutely bullied. Nice. So that. No, I got C4. Let's call our nuke. Oh my god, this was a crazy game. This is definitely one of my higher kill games I've had on 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 shipment. This is crazy. G G. Wait, no, my teammate got an advance. I just realized. Holy cow. How many kills did we get? That was crazy. Wow, what a game. 153 kills, 13 deaths with the Black Ops Cold War M4A1. That was ridiculous. Real quick, here is a little bit of a better look at the new M4A1 Old Faithful. This is the one you get uh, for pre-ordering Black Ops Cold War. As you can see, completely blacked out. It has gold on this side, which I did not understand. I wish it was on the side you actually see all the time, but it's on the complete other side, so a little bit of a little bit of a secret gold camo on the opposite side, which is nice. But as far as it goes for my class setup, the muzzle and FMJ are the two attachments I took off. I went ahead, threw on monolithic suppressor. You guys know it's like one of my favorite attachments. I use it all the time. You get damage range buff, which means it takes less bullets to kill at longer ranges. Also, I love to flank. I like to be stealthy. I do not want the enemies to know where I'm at. And the monolithic suppressor is the best attachment to stay hidden from enemies. I kept the stock M16 grenade barrel on. As many of you guys know, I mainly stick to the core as custom marksman. But, hey, it was definitely a, a change for once. I liked it. I'll probably start using it again. I, I really miss using this barrel. I kept the M16 stock on. You get aiming stability. Basically, uh, your weapon is just really, really accurate. You see the mobility. It is terrible, but that wasn't really stopping me in today's video. So, um, so I, the M16 stock is actually not bad whatsoever. I went ahead through on Commando Foregrip, because why not? I mean, you guys know, Commando Foregrip is one of the best attachments uh, to run on assault rifles. Recoil stabilization, aiming stability, no recoil whatsoever, just an absolute laser beam. And then it came with the 60 round mag, and it's always what I run. Super good, able to take out multiple enemies at once. I mean, you guys saw we got like a five-man feed um, in today's video, which was absolutely incredible. Something else I noticed on this blueprint was like at the front of the iron sides that says autumn and also on the magazine right here it says autumn which is pretty lit. I'm not really sure what that is referring to. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'm actually really curious. Uh, it could mean absolutely nothing or it could be a character or something else that we will be seeing in the next Call of Duty. I have no idea, but there is my M4 class I was using in the video for any of you guys who were curious. Here is the rest of my setup as well. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If any of you guys are brand new, what makes you guys subscribe? Again, I do upload literally every Every single day I'll be covering whatever Black Ops Cold War information we have I'll make sure to let you guys know inform you all 
best class setups, tips and tricks, top tier gameplay, just a few other things that you guys will see on the channel as well if you guys do end up subscribing. Drop a big fat like on today's video as well if you guys did enjoy it. It takes a few seconds to go such a long way and I would really, really appreciate it. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below, Black Ops Cold War Gun. I'd like and heart in as many of you guys' comments I possibly can. You guys stay safe, have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.